Waswahili husema siku za nyana ikufa miti yote huteleza. Kama uniamini ingia pale kwenye mtandao wa kijamii wa Instagram utapata kwamba mwanadada Shakila amechoma hadi akaunguza. Hivi sasa wazima moto wanaendelea kutafutwa ili waendelee kuzima moto ambao Shakila amewasha pale. For those who do not know few hours ago kuna screenshot ya Mpesa transaction ya Shakila ambayo imekuwa ikienea sana kwenye mtandao wa kijamii wa Instagram. Kwenye screenshot hii unaona kwamba Shakila amekuwa akipokea hela tofauti kutoka kwa wanaume na si wanaume tu uh, wa Kenya. Wanaume kutoka Nigeria. Ukiangalia screenshot hii the first Mpesa message review built that Shakila had received 25000 Kenyan shillings from Olamide Babatunle. A pale chini kidogo some more money entered through her Mpesa and now kiangalia zile hela pale ndio zikawa wa Kenya vinywa wazi. Shakila had received 237000 Kenyan shillings from Good Luck. 237000 wa Kenya kaanza kushangaa kwani hao ni wanaume wa gani wanapatia huyu dada hizi hela zote what is she doing eh, kwa hao wanaume hadi wa wanaume wanaona tu ampate hizi hela zote na maswali yakaibuka kidogo kidogo pale ghafla binvu our instagram dci swung into action <coughs> guess what they found something strange with the impesa transaction message pale na pale instagram dci wakaweza kufichua kwamba the impesa uh, message is fake it is not a real impesa message how did they find out ukiangalia jina impesa in normal impesa messages the name impesa has to be in capital letters but unfortunately this name impesa in this impesa transaction app inaonyesha kwamba and the the four letters ni capital but the last letter is small letter uh, that is a ukiangalia a kwa umakini is in small letters but the first four letters is they are in capital hapo ndipo wa Kenya wakajua kwamba da ah, tumeanza kupumbazo tena na huyu dada yani tunabebwa kimandazi tu <laughs> Wogopa Shakila. Kumbuka kwamba few days ago Shakila came out and accused Andrew Kibe of trying to hit on her pale kwenye DM. Akidai kwamba Andrew Kibe amekuwa akimtongoza huku na kule. Na Andrew Kibe kwazika kidogo akajitokeza pia yeye na akafikia kwamba it is the other way round. Shakila ndo amekuwa pale kwenye DM yake akijaribu kumfuata huku na kule. Na kwa mara nyingine juhudi za Shakila kurejea kwenye sekta ya burudani zikaambulia patupu. Kumbuka kwamba Shakila entered into the Kenyan entertainment industry a few years ago and she did that through clout and aliweza kujitokeza na kadai kwamba she had had some uh, uh, sexual encounters with famous celebrities akakataja wakadao huko na kule na baadaye ikapatikana kwamba she was lying. Na hivyo ndivyo Shakila aliweza kupata umaarufu hapa Kenya. And to be honest, if she got her fame through clout, she has to clout chase here and there to maintain her fame. Amekuwa chini ya maji kwa muda mrefu. Watu wanasema kwamba Shakila na Timitida same WhatsApp group. Hmm? Yaani Shakila alishakaa sabuni. If you know you know. <laughs> Anyway, I have no head with Timothy that. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Shakila? Unaitwa chama nienyu kaje comment section na mtuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's be next time. Bye bye.